Hey everyone, I am Parijat Rai and this is the ninth and final day of our event Valorant Premier League. I welcome you all on the behalf of Zenivia, title sponsor PrepBytes, platform partner Dare to Compete. The event is brought to you by Ethereal Events in association with Climb Central Delhi and DigiGrad. Finally, we have reached the day of the grand finale of VPL, which you all have been waiting for so eagerly. We started with eight teams, chose our favorites, but we all know only two could have made it till the end. The two teams in the finals today have definitely worked hard to get to the finals and prove their worth. And no matter who wins today, we both know that we have, we have given it their all, and we, they have given it their all, and we wish the best of luck to both the teams. So now I would like to call Roy and Matthew, who are the commentators for today's matches, to proceed with the event. I hope you all enjoy today's proceedings. All right, guys, welcome back to Valorant Premier League Day Nine, the finals, and of course. We have it's between the collective and the skeptics. The skeptics in amazing. Oh my God! I'm so sorry, chat. Uh, I would like to introduce my fellow caster Matthew, uh, also known by Ultimate Noob, a professional Apex Legend Legends player, guys. Uh, I mean, if we are live, then I would like studio, uh, stadium, then I would say give a round of applause. But hi, Matthew, man. What's up? Well, thanks for having me here, guys. And first of all, good evening to everybody in chat. Today is going to be the ninth day. And the final day of the Valorant Premier League, and I'm hella hyped and hella excited for this lineup. It's between uh, the Skeptics and the Collectives. Now they've had a rivalry throughout this tournament. The Skeptics have won one of their matches, so have the Collectives. So you can call this a final decider in all events. And I'm really excited to see who's going to take it home, who's going to have the best plays today to the, towards today's tournament. And I really miss casting Valorant from uh, from a couple of months ago, so it feels good to be back. So hope we all have a great time tonight. All right, guys, we are in the ninth and the final day of Valorant Premier League, uh, hosted by Zenivia, the Zenivia team, in association with Bennett University and sponsored by Ethereal Events, DigiGrad, Climb Central, Prep Byte, and Dare to Compete. Who made this event possible? Of course, we uh, will be having the finals between the collectives versus the skeptics. Uh, the top four teams were at tier six. Okay, I'm ultra order. I'm ultra. The top four teams were the collective and the skeptics. At the top of the board were 12 points. Uh, the uh, next two teams were Baba Sir and Atior Six. So uh, Baba Sir and Atior Six went in uh, eliminators. It's an eliminator qualifier format. So the bottom two teams were in an eliminator. Whoever lost that match was out of the tournament. And unfortunately, it had to be Atior Six. And the second uh, second qualifier was between the top two teams, the collectives and the skeptics. Now uh, Matthew. Uh, you have seen the skeptics' performances throughout uh, the tournament. What would you like to say about them? Well, when it comes to the skeptics, I'm going to be really excited to see their sage main, which is Teja Bobby. He's been a he's been a really heavy fragger throughout uh, this tournament, and also Baldivir, who uh, who looks like he if he if he pops off today, um, it's going to be very useful towards uh, the skeptics. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, how they perform today as uh, as a unit. Uh, but then again, uh, the collectives coming in uh, at, from from basically the eliminators bracket, uh, it could be an underdog story. Uh, and who doesn't love an underdog story or an upset? Uh, because uh, you know the the skeptics came through as their first place finishers. But you never know what can happen. This is esports. This is why we love to watch it in the first place. That is very true, man. You gotta love those comeback stories. Of course, uh, the collectives, the skeptics have been in. Uh, were on a very uh, winning streak throughout the tournament. They never lost a single match. They had that crystal clear, clean sheet throughout the match. The collectives was the only team who was able to beat that streak. The skeptics have lost to the collectives before, but in the qualifier match they made a comeback and they beat the collective, forcing the collective to play against Baba Sir in the second qualifier. Unfortunately, that was the last. Uh, the last game for Baba Sir, the collectives won that match. Baba Sir, I'm assuming, has secured the third position in the tournament. And we are in the finals, the collectives versus the skeptics. And we are just waiting for the toss details to come in, guys. And we shall be starting with the match soon. All right. What do you think is going to happen today, uh, map wise? Uh, Roy, you think. Uh... Which okay, team? So which team? Which team gets more gets more in favor here, of, uh, especially of the defending maps, which I always prefer watching sometimes. 
okay the thing is that the maps are very very heavy defender sided on some maps and on some maps they're fairly balanced like say uh, there's the site called haven which has three different sites uh, chart uh, it's very it's it's a very balanced map because the defenders are left at a man disadvantage on every site but then uh, there are sites like bind or ascent ascent a direct replica of dust 2 from csgo which we all know is a very very defender sided map again so uh, it's like usually whoever wins the toss in every scenario they try to go for defense like tum you play cricket you win the toss you pick batting and you set the momentum you gain the momentum in the game put pressure on the other team uh, of course the defender side whoever is on the defender side has the advantage on most maps uh, specifically and there's the new map like a very i find it a very annoying map to play on ice box we saw very uh, one game on ice box that's it but other than that most of the matches have been on ascent bind and haven so let's see what we have in store we have the toss details coming in of course it's the collectives versus the skeptics the collectives have won the toss and they have chosen to attack on the map ascent they're going for a very very interesting play here guys let's see what we have in store for them uh, they have in store for uh, the skeptics and especially when you spoke about pressure another thing I wanted to bring in to esports uh it always comes down to who can perform the best under a high intensity environment uh, especially in something like the finals because you sometimes even the best players do tend to choke so we should see who can keep their calm today and who can come out on top it's going to be an interesting matchup all right all right we are waiting for the players to line up on defense we have the skeptics who lost the toss and on attack we have the collective they're going to go at it for okay again 13 rounds of this 26 rounds i'm assuming <laughs> or 24 rounds on the map ascent this is going to be a very interesting matchup we have the players lining up strong players on each side we have again so the okay matthew you uh, you were uh, you have seen the tournament uh, so there I, I, i have seen a very very interesting game style here from both the teams on the skeptics like I, like you said there is teja bobby beldevir and they have a very standard uh, draft so on their side they have two players who are always top fragging they get the kills they get the there uh, they get the sites they get the spike there or they defend the side to their last uh, remaining hp but on the skept on the collective side i have seen a, a very, very interesting gameplay so there are days when two different people are always fragging so on the first day we saw prithi and vice go at it on the other team with their 20 20 20 plus skills mark set the uh, momentum of the game some days we have patrick jen popping off and getting kills some day we even have again uh, they had a uh, tish god uh, tish god in their team who left he was one of the fraggers so the collectives have a very interesting draft where if one day one player is not doing well the other takes over and sets the momentum but on the skeptic side we have consistency so who's it going to be is it going to be the standard orthodox consistent gameplay from a team or is it going to be this unorthodox gameplay where again if somebody is not having a good day you have a teammate covering for you so what is it going to be what do you think man I honestly feel like um the collectives would have a better chance because uh, as you said the skeptics may have two strong players that are consistently well in all of their matches but what the collective has is they have the potential for not only just two but like all of them popping exactly. because it comes it comes down because especially in a, in a team environment in esports it comes down to how you help each other and how you feed off of each other's That's momentum true. so you say say one one or two of their players is going to be having like a bad day or a bad round one round two then they see the rest of their players popping off and picking up kills and that immediately boosts your your confidence and in your chemistry because it's always it, it always comes down to a bit of a mind game as well in esports right the way you think can massively affect the way you perform in game if you have a mind like if you're going in with a mindset that oh I'm not, I might not be performing well today my shot's going to be off today you're not you're not going to come out of it but then suddenly you see your teammate performing and you're like yeah he's having the best game of his life i've got to get in i've got to step up my game as well so That's it's true. probably it's it's going to be a massive motivator if um anyone from the collective start popping off and then the rest of their team follows in 
I mean, yeah, of course, we. That's, it's a very high risk, high reward strategy because uh, there is again, like you said, there is a chance which in which five of their players start popping off and they, all of them are aqu- uh, applying equal pressure on the enemy team, which is going to be very, very bad for the skeptics. But again, there is a probability that all five of them might not be having the best day. So let's wait and see we, what we have in store uh, for the match. Well, that's what's going to make it so interesting. We don't know what's going to happen. And we don't, we can't really predict the outcome because of the collective's uh, unorthodox style of play. So it's uh, it's not it's not the most it's not going to be the most predictable lineup. But let's let's hope that we go into a game that ends up being a 24, 25 rounder, with it coming down to the last round instead of it being a one-way tie as well. All right, then we have the players lining up from the defenders. We see Teja Bobby on the defense. Of course, Patrick Chen and Dax X and Black Infinity, they're just occupying the defender team spots there. This is, again, the collective have the potential to troll. We have seen some very interesting gameplays. Like on this map, I think Ascent is the same map. When the collective are, collectives are defending, right? So they have a very aggressive strategy where they go for the first kills and they go and put pressure on the other team through the match that we have seen from the collective. But again, it becomes very predictable because, of course, you have the enemy team watching the matches, analyzing the opponent's uh, st- uh, play styles. And of course, like as a pro player, you watch other pro players, how they actually are able to, again, in Apex, take those gunfights, rotate and switch between players. So, like, it, it, it again all comes down to the strategy which they're following. Yeah, one of the one of the main parts of uh, high level esports is not just how you organize your own team, but is how you analyze and study how uh, some of the top teams in say your region or on a global level perform and how they how they handle certain scenarios. Because there's always something you can always you can learn. Even if there's a team that's inferior to you, if there's something that they're doing that you notice can help you in a certain situation, that can always help you. So going through your own your own videos, your own your your own scrims and going through tournament VODs from other uh, better teams or some of the best teams in the region, say like TSM, T- T1, and 100 Thieves. Like You go through their VODs and then you pick up stuff that you can possibly inculcate into your own team, especially um, that's when the IGL or the team coach's role comes into hand uh, is, uh, into organizing these strategies for their teams making sure that he puts his team into the best possible position to win their games. I mean, yeah, that is very true. Uh, that we are in the Valorant Premier League. Day 9, guys, this is the finals. The first match is between the collectives versus the skeptics. Both are a, a formidable four uh, against each other and against other opponents. The toss winners were the collective. They have chosen to go attack a very unorthodox strategy chosen throughout the tournament here. The winning people always go for the defense pick here, but we are seeing the collective trying to gain the momentum by going on attack. Defending against them will be the skeptics and we are just waiting for the players to line up. And we shall be right back in two minutes after they're here.
टूर्नामेंट बट ही गेट्स दो स्किल इन बट फ्रॉम द डिफेंडर साइड वी हैव तेजा बॉबी स्टेज मेन द बैटल स्टेज who gets his ult every third round because of those skills matlab wo itne kills uthata hai ek tournament mein ki usko ult team milti rehti hai and wo revive karta rehta hai he keeps on making the game from a 4v5 down to a 5v5 says ult one of the most powerful ults in the entire game being able to revive a player from death and if the player has their ultimate so you now have two ultimates which you can pop up all right we are into the pick phase matthew take it away All right, we're going to be heading on to ascent now. Depends here on which side you end up pushing. Uh at first, me normally I actually like pushing on A side, but then again, I live up I technically live up to my name when it comes to Valorant because well, I'm an Apex player and Valorant doesn't support I mean I mean controller and aim assist. If it did, holy, I would be in this <laughs> tournament by now. But <laughs> but we're not and we're going to head on to the draft. You can you can take it over from now on the draft. We can see we have uh, that. We, we can see Baldivir here getting ready to pick his omen. Well, uh, looks like uh, the collective hasn't really given us that much of an input to what they're taking. They all <laughs> they all seem to be working <laughs> as a collective, no pun intended, on uh, what what operator they're about to pick. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we always see the sort of memes from the collective. Of course, from the defenders, we have Black Infinity with the Reyna pick, Bell Devi. Yeah, Bobby staying with his with his Sage as usual. It's true. Troublemaker going there for the Jet pick. We have two uh, duelists, the two fraggers from the defenders. One Sentinel, one Initiator, and one Controller. Uh, again, chat. A duelist is a person who gets Choose the kills. Choose Initiator. Is the one who starts the fight, gets the intel on the enemy. Oh my God, we are still seeing trolling from the attackers here. But anyway, and the controller, uh, uh, and the controller stops the rushes or makes the rushes possible, and the sentinel locks down the site. Pretty straightforward, pretty standard draft from both the teams. Again, now we have the loadout for the attackers: Easy Vice with the cipher pick, Patrick Jen with the jet, Prithi one at time with the raise. Oh my God. That guy moves. Okay, so by the way, uh, Matthew, if you're not familiar with Raze as a character, she has these satchel charges which you can place on the ground. So when when and you can stand on top of them as Raze, and when you explode them, you basically get a jump boost. So you know in CS:GO you had this strafing, uh, bunny hopping mechanism where you could go faster than the movement ability. Yep, I'm very familiar with that. We have the same mechanic in Apex, Apex as well, yeah, bunny yeah. hopping. Yeah, yes. so basically the thing is that he uses those satchels to bunny hop through the air. I mean, if you see uh, Spectate Prothi when he's using his ultimate, you'll know what I mean. He's just zigzagging through the site, man. It's it's genuinely very insane. It's like honestly, we are in the first round of uh, the finals, the collectives versus the skeptics. Again, we are seeing pretty standard bias. Matthew, would you like to take over? Yeah, well, it's the collectives and skeptics. They, it's, it's gonna be. This is gonna be the, the rivalry settler. They formed a rivalry throughout the tournament. Uh, both of them winning uh, one of their matches through the playoffs and the qualifiers. And this is gonna be not just for bragging rights, but for big money as well. So let's see who's gonna choke under pressure and who's gonna perform. Of course, we have seen Tejra Bobby get her utility. Daxx is going for the utility again. Omen gets the flash. Uh, Jet going for full utility buys again. Uh, defenders with the heavy utility. Uh, Reyna with the ghost pick there and full utility. A little bit of utility. And on the attackers, are we seeing utility? Yes, we are. So what gets the? I mean, uh, I don't. I don't know what the default shock. I think the reveal dart is Here. the default one, and the shock dart. He picks one shock dart again. 
let's see we are into the first round the attackers are making a play for mid there is omen smoke goes down we are the defenders with the standard 2 1 2 hold there is over board for the info the attackers are taking mid control Here. jet is Here. inside the smoke will she be called out the attackers are aggressively be making their way in there is the shock dart there is another shock dart black is really taking some damage into the smoke the dip attackers are Relatively simple round there for the defenders. Uh, the attackers seem to have uh, moved through a cluster way too quickly, and it seems to be very easy fix there for skeptics. Now we go into round two. See how it goes. Then we are seeing the defenders uh, go for the specters. They're trying to carry forward their momentum here. And of course, we are seeing a hard eco from the attackers. This is probably going to be a free round for the defenders. The point of this round is to just get the guns down on the other side to sort of poke holes into their economy. So let's wait and see how this round goes. Of course, we have Daxx and Black Infinity holding down men. There is so was bold for the info and Omen with this smoke. Arctic Gen pushing down Cat Box and almost gets the drop onto Troublemaker. The attackers are making a play for the shot. Uh, Beldweed sprays down while the attackers get to the Again, defenders are attacking the shot. Right down, down. Mid. They have taken a lot One of enemy damage. remaining. Zach said with the finishing blow onto Brothy. One of the quickest rounds in this match yet. Of course, the attackers were on an eco buy. And let's see uh, what follows. Of course, we're seeing a full buy on both the sides. This is going to be around for the defenders. Yeah, we could have seen that coming from uh, the resources that, uh, that, the, that, the, that the attackers had left. It was a pistol round against like more of a heavy utility and heavy set round for uh, the skeptics here. Uh, but uh, as the rounds go on, as their economy slightly may increase, uh, you might see uh, the collectors making a little bit of a comeback here. Uh, but for now, uh, they've got to focus a bit more on uh, getting their economy up. Uh, but it looks like... Uh, the skeptics are doing a pretty good job on keeping them strangled on their money. You know? Oh my god, Patrick Jen with the kill through the smoke. A very, very niche spot to hide. Patrick Jen going in, trying to go for the kills. Troublemaker gets the play down. Guns down, Patrick. This is going to be his end. Race with the lead. He's to have a lot of people that he makes hands. Hard to strike. Both teams on full by. It's not the One enemy for remaining. the attackers. Last man. He flex standing for the attackers. He's and Viper on full HP. What play is it going to be? Reflex is double backing uh, towards the long there. We have the defenders with the full armor and better guns. Of course, Reflex on his last 10 HP. What is he going to do? And take the puppy with the wall bank onto Reflex. This is going to be another round for the Skeptics. Gets taken down there quite easily. Uh, this was a round that could have gone the way of the collectives. But then again, uh, the heavy utility and the heavy economy of Skeptics are coming in handy with their full shields. Now it looks like, uh, but looks of it, it looks like uh, collectives are gonna opt to uh, go with the scout for a bit. And their economy is rising a bit, but uh, comparatively, they don't really have shields on either end. Uh, one of them having half shields, but uh, they're gonna be going up against a fully set uh, skeptic side with full armors and all of their best guns as well. That is very true, man. Of course, the defenders are looking to have the better economy here. We have the two phantoms and three vandals with full armors. And of course, the attackers are going for an eco. <clears throat> we are seeing the attackers with the sheriff and light armor, sheriff, marshal, uh, and shorty, and a sheriff. This is this is a, this is what we call in Valorant a safety buy. So that this round, their only target is not to win the round. Their target is to get the guns down on the other side, forcing the other team to rebuy yeah. their guns and utility and armor, costing to about 4,000 credits, which pokes a very major dent in their economy. This is the point of this round. This is probably a free round for the defenders. This is merely a round to poke dents into the other team's economy. And if they're able to win this round, and if they're able to conduct what we in Valorant, we call a thrifty round, where uh, the team is ecoing with shittier guns, they're able to win the round by picking up the guns from the defenders. That's something which can turn the tide 
in a very heavy way because of vandal costs like 2600 credits so that's a lot of credits you are picking up so again with the gun game in valorant and cs go like any economy based games you have two games going on you have the gun game of course you and in valorant you have a third part where you have the gadget and utility game so every operator brings a unique uh, game of uh, play uh, a gameplay style into the game So you have the gun game, you have the utility game, and you have the economy game. The economy game is something which is not noticed by a lot of people, but it's something uh, very, very uh, important throughout the course of the match. As you can see here, Troublemaker is ready with all of his utilities. He even has his alt ready in round four, just ready to go here. But uh, if, even though if if they're going for a thrifty round here, uh, it's going to be something extremely hard for them to pull off. Especially that their shields are in an extremely dire situation right now, because only one of them has half shields on the entire team. I don't know if that's intentional or if they're just uh, going super low on economy, but uh, it's gonna be a tough round for the collective to pull off. If they do, it would be extremely amazing to see. I mean that is very true. We have, uh, of course, Patrick with the scout pick. Patrick has been really consistent with the snipers. Of course, we are seeing very, very high pings from both the teams. The Assassin with the 230, Patrick with the same 290, 30 ping. What is happening? Daxx with the 220 ping. Yes. I, I think they're having a classic uh, Indian Wi-Fi issue here. One of them might have switched to hotspot. You never know. Uh, I've done it before. Can't blame. Me. Got to do what you got to do, and got to work with whatever ping you have. But that 200 ping uh, is is definitely not something that you want to be playing on, especially in a tournament final, especially in a game like Valorant, where milliseconds can make a difference between life and death, uh, especially against uh, a team who is averaging uh, around 30, 35 ping throughout. Uh, but it seems yeah, like their ping's being resolved as it goes on. Uh, Must have been just a small lag spike for a bit, so they should be fine right now. Things I mean, seem yeah, to be fine. Yeah, Val the Valorant, Valorant have recently introduced uh, Mumbai servers uh, first. That uh, uh, before that they used to play on Singapore servers. Of course, Singapore servers have proven to be of very exceptional quality. Here they use the top-notch uh, Apache servers with their Epic processors and everything. So uh, they they recently bought a new server farms in uh, Mumbai, and we expect like we are seeing the 30 ping from. Each side, which is a pretty pretty good uh, ping to have. I mean, in Apex Legends, what's your average ping which you would consider good? Well, in Apex, the average ping uh, that if you're in India, you you would get would be around. It would depend on your region. If you live towards the north of India, uh, your average ping would be around 85 to 100. Uh, that's the lowest that you can get because India. I mean, India doesn't have a regional server for themselves. The closest one true. would be Bahrain, but that's kind yeah. of a dead server since no one plays on it. Uh, <laughs> but on average, um, it, it's really more of a struggle in Apex because there's a bit more of a cheater situation on sing on Asian servers uh, compared to Valorant. Uh, so Valorant, Valorant you, okay, we are in the fourth round of the game. We are seeing the attackers with a very spread push here. Patrick Jen getting that peek into short. Troublemaker holding that cheeky angle there. Uh, again, both the teams looking to get that first pick in. Uh, the attackers are on an eco. They're just going for the pick and play style here. Uh, Troublemaker is holding short inside the smoke. And this is going to be a very interesting pick. Is he going to get the pick there? Troublemaker with the headshot on to Patrick. Yes. With the opening kill, down goes the marshal. Again, this is not the super for the attackers. It's, they have Lovely to get the kills here uh, for the defenders. Of course, Viper has her wall completely set up as a cross. A very, very exceptional rush. Prothi with the tap on to very crisp headshot on to Black Infinity. This is gonna cost them about 3,000 credits into the round. Again, just poking dents here and there. They can't pick the gun up. Of course. Is sitting on top of it. That is Daxx with the finishing blows on Easy Vice. Down to a five three for the uh, uh, defenders. There is a that is a There is a top start. Randomly take some damage. Spike with down the A. Onto reflex. One Spike enemy remaining. Last match. Sova standing for the attacker. Trouble maker with the finishing blows on Assassin for the GK with the Phantom. I think we could have predicted this round coming in before it even started. Uh, as you said, it was going to be a tricky round. Their main goal, they might have accomplished a, a, a small part of their goal, which was taking the economy down uh, for the skeptics. But it hasn't really put in much of a dent into the skeptics' economy. Besides, troublemakers still sitting pretty on 2,900 creds, which is more than 
than almost the entire roster Deep for the collectives rest. right now because they seem to be pretty stretched. And this round is going to be extremely vital for them because they have exhausted the majority of their economy on their hunts. And party gen with your pickle on to Troublemaker. Beldavid with the headshot on Assassin. Two players falling very quickly on both the sides. Down to a 4v4. Of course, the attackers need to get another pick in. They have We have Omen holding A. And we have uh, the defenders making a play for A there. Of course, the Omen with the spike is all the way towards B. What play is he going to go for? The attackers are going for a split push here. They are trying to execute on fake A. But the defenders have taken notice of it. We have Sage who is holding all the way back towards B. The uh, attackers are rotating from spawn towards B. Omen is sitting outside the wall. Wall is about to DK. Omen is going to contact Teja Bobby. Teja Bobby is inside the boathouse. Very, very unorthodox angle to actually hold. He usually hold it from the other other sides. That's the one-way smoke by Viper. Teja Bobby is inside the uh, is inside the boathouse there. Open boat and Black Infinity watching over into sight from the market. 35 seconds remaining into the round. The attackers will make an execute. There is a the you see that? Left. 30 seconds of left. A lot of people falling on both sides. Start to see we do. One the enemy remaining. With the finishing blows on Patrick Jen. Not looking good for the defenders. Reflex is hiding inside Boathouse. There is, uh, of course, Daxx near. Uh, and Reflex guns down Daxx. Going down for the plant. 11 seconds remaining. 10 seconds into the left. Round. Black and Infinity pushing right. And we have one person pushing. Cover forward. going out. There is the smoke tower to stop the push there. Beltavid pushing down. There is the flash. And enemy oh remaining. Oh my god, Reflex instantly gets guns down Black Infinity. But Beltavid was standing there for the trade. And another round for the defenders. Again, uh, of course, the defenders. This is not looking good for the attackers. The attackers need to get some rounds in. Otherwise, it's going to be a very, very one sided match. I feel like this whole match, uh, this whole round, uh, took, a change, took a turn for the worse. Uh, the moment, uh, the moment could be uh, inted in uh, with his ult. I uh, should have played it a bit more patiently, uh, but I see what he was trying to do. He was trying to pull off a bit more of a flashy play, but it really didn't pay off. He, if he kept it simple uh, through that push, uh, they, the round could have gone the way of uh, the collective. Did you see the speed that which he was coming inside? Of course. He got outgunned. Teja Bobby, one of the most superior fraggers on their team. He just instantly got sniped right from here. the air. But that speed, man. Oh my god. Of course, now we're into the six round. We are seeing Jet pull out her ultimate. Three ultimates up on the defender side. Three ultimates up on the attacker side. The attackers are trying to make a play for A. We have Black Infinity holding down short. There's the bolt for the info. The defenders have called it out. They are rotating. He's going to ultimate. Is he going to cancel it? Does not cancel it, uses the Viper's wall to his advantage. And people falling on both sides. I know exactly. And there is Viper's ultimate coming up for the info. Will the info be enough? Troublemaker pulls out his ultimate dash. Last player stands. And there is Troublemaker. And easy, guys. He's on fire tonight. Troublemaker absolutely popping off with his ult right there, making sure he hit all of his shots. Looks like it looks like the pressure is definitely not getting to the skeptics uh, as we go through game one of the finals right now. Uh, the economy once again looking very stretched uh, for the uh, the collective. So uh, one of them has, as you can see, Troublemaker here opting to go Let's for fly. an op. Interesting picture where you see the rest of uh, collectives not even having shields and going for another thrifty round. Uh, it's going to be a tough round to win one. Oh, Troublemaker with the opening blow onto Assassin outside A. Again, down to a 5v4. They don't have a speed on their side to bring it back into a 5v5. Uh, very difficult for the attackers. They're on an eco trying to get yeah. the guns down on the defenders. We have Black Infinity who is holding down mid. We have Teja Bobby inside board. We have Dax and Ken watching his main. Enemy Guns down Prothi. That's a very, very cheeky smoke right there. The wall was broken. He got uh, Viper, uh, Viper through an acid down. And it's going to be a very difficult hold. For Prothi. Gets gunned down. Down to a 5v3 for the defenders. 55 seconds remaining into the round. Teja Bobby with the headshot onto Patrick Jen. One Not enemy remaining. Hold. Black Infinity with the peek into mid. Whoa. Who's gonna get the kill down? And he gets the finishing blow onto Easy Vice. It's like they know exactly where the attackers are pushing from. As smooth as 
butter. Deja Bobby is an absolute rock on that A side. He is he is absolutely amazing on that side. He just does not let it go at all. Nothing gets through this man without uh, without at least without you getting killed or without coming close to getting killed. Uh, so far, he's definitely being a thorn in the side of the collectives, as Teja Bobby has been for most for most teams throughout this tournament. Of course, we have seen the attackers with a full buy here. Both teams having revealing area. Of course, uh, the attackers are trying to get that first pick in. Viper has their cross map wall set up. There is Sova's bolt for the info. Omen with his smokes down mid. Again, blocking side from Troublemaker. It's it's it's. Uh, it's a pick, pick and play game style. Again, a very one-sided game here. Uh, yeah, seven rounds uh, into the game. We are into the eighth round. One minute, eleven seconds remaining. Both teams try to get that first pick in. The the collectives really need to step up the game tonight if they Shadow if they want to win. Troublemaker has been on fire tonight. Teza Bobby has not been fragging, but is holding down the site on her own on his own. Can't <laughs> assume the gender man. I'm sorry, Chad, but. <laughs> We are seeing the defenders economy almost reaching up to the 9,000 credit limit there. Of course, they'll have Here. enough and more rounds and guns to spare. Not looking good for the attackers, the collectors. Magic Jan with the snipe onto Troublemaker. This might be the opening they needed. It's down to a 5v4 for the attackers for once. And we are seeing the attackers make their way towards the second is holding Terrasova's ultimate towards Black Infinite. He's going to take some damage. This is it. Fire in the mid. Walks into the center of it. Gets tagged down the ADHP. Gets the shot on Gets the shot on Teja Bobby. Prothean is the finish to on Black Infinity. It's down to a 5v2 for the last player and standing. And Assassin with the finish Ten blow on Pendivy. This is the round which we need a reflex. Going down for the plant. Last man tagged. Standing spot Spike planted. Gets the finish to blow on to Patrick Jen. The door has not been thrown down yet. There's the lead. And it's gonna be a first round. The opening round for the attackers. It's the round which they needed. They have been losing momentum tonight. If they are able to make it into a 7-5 score, this might be the game for the collective. Otherwise, it's not looking so good. Uh, what do you have to say, man? This is definitely a round that uh, the uh, the collectors could not afford to lose with the amount they spent on their guns. Especially, uh, they managed to pick up an AWP from the enemy team as well, so they get to save some of their economy there. Uh, kind of a good, kind of a good trade-off on credits here now, bringing the economy to more of a level playing field. But uh, I think if there's any, if there's any time to pull off a comeback, this is the best one for the collectors. Of course, we have the players all standing off again. The collectives always try to get their first ticket. In this game, if the attackers get one kill, it becomes very difficult to hold any side because in a 5v4, Easy Vice with the opening kill snipes Dax in their side. Again, again, the opening kill. Misses a shot, Patrick misses a shot into sh into shot. Teja Bobby with the revive there, like I said, making the fight. Assassin with the finish to one belt. Might be the opening which they needed. That is it with his ultimate. The speed will be the speed of that. Unfortunately, Dax takes the instant blade. Do you see that speed on Prithi when he's ulting? Sare spatchel zameen pe maar ke just goes in, man. He's like, ki bhai, fuck it, main kill lekar raunga. But khud bhi mar jaunga, but main kill lekar raunga. Like, the do or die style, of course. Trouble maker for the contest there. On the side, two people are holding heavy. Headshot onto assassin, down to a CV side. Artis then coming into sight there. For Black Infinity with the headshot. Last man Cypher standing for the... Okay, and he gets cut down. Almost they were, almost the attackers were able to make a gap there. But unfortunately it wasn't enough. I'm gonna lie, Collectors did throw that round a bit. Uh, I was expecting one of their players to did in uh, with an AWP, but he chose to no scope at close range quite a lot. Lost that gunfight miserably. Uh, Gunfight that they should have easily won, uh, but they just put away. Uh, this is not the this is not the not the response that the collective would have wanted after finally winning that round. You do not want to give the momentum back to the skeptics here. Uh, they already have a seven point lead right now. We're seeing easy by with the spike all the way down to B, but the entire attacking team has set up on A. Interesting strategies here uh, from the attackers. Attackers trying to go for a split push here. Cypher sets up his wire, sets up his camera. There's the bolt on it. Troublemaker with the opening snipe on to Prithi. 
troublemaker holding that very very cheeky angle into sight there nobody's going to peak that angle of course he has the entire vision uh, down the main door of sight it's 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 a, it's a death valley you need some from both flash get it out because she falls back there is the smoke and there's the spray misses by a little bit was much like it falls again gets instantly gunned down is up by coming in for the contest back in trouble maker up it's turned to a 5v3 not looking good for the attackers again like i said uh, matthew this is a very very defender sided map so the collectors might just be able to overturn it uh, when they are defending but let's wait and see we are about to come to the turn uh, of to the switch i think of the 12th round of the game let's wait and see we currently like are winning. uh What were you saying, man? Uh, I feel like that's where winning the toss uh, comes in handy here, since you said it was a defender-heavy map, uh, especially with putting the momentum in left. favor of whatever team um, does decide to go first on defending. So you do have that lead, so you have a psychological lead on your opponents as well, going forward through the match. Uh, Black Infinity gets gunned down instantaneously. You have Daxx who's holding towards the spawn there. Will get gunned down. This is down to a three v three. Ten seconds left. Looking for the attackers. One man belt is standing in fourth house. Is he gonna get spotted? Get spotted! Oh my God! Spike planted. Gets the jump on them. I know exactly where you are. And there is Cypher's ultimate coming up. The clutch information they needed. Now they know exactly where the defenders are. Troublemaker with this uh, pulls out his ultimate, trying to go for that play that Isa Bobby is pushing in right. That's the double case. The Cypher does not want her to push. Of course, troublemaker with his ult holding strong outside side. Isa Bobby, uh, he misses the shot, but fucked it up a little bit. There's the ball for the info. Get scanned. Isa Bobby. One yes. enemy remains. Troublemaker with Last the shot. Last player standing. On two. No oh my god. Oh my god. Easy vice with the three K. What a play. Jet was on her ultimate. Just a couple of shots. Vice coming in clutch with the three K. With the side for ult. Getting another round for the attackers. Vice was getting an extreme clutch there for his team. They're coming up with the uh, with the end game one v two. I need this. Uh, definitely uh, thought it was going to go in the favor of Skeptics once again. The moment uh, Troublemaker picked up that uh, kill with the op, but uh, looks like Vice had other plans for him. That is very true, man. We are seeing the attackers go for a split push here. Two people outside B, three people pushing A. Here. Moment oh, down mid. Into Kabi, pushing it. He sets up the wall on B. Cipher throws his camps. Will get destroyed instantaneously. There is the bolt down for the info by the attackers cleaning anybody. A troublemaker holding a very very a uh, cheeky angle there on top of Here. boxes. The jet has the ability to climb on top of boxes there. Again pushes into smoke. Troublemaker is pushing into the smoke and gets gunned down. Troublemaker gets a kill, but gets instantly traded by Reflex. There, it's down to a 4v4 for the defenders. We have one person, Beldvir, who is holding down short, and we have one Daxx on side. Daxx has his ultimate. Is he gonna use it? There is the cross map wall by Daxx. Of course, so very very. There goes the wall. Get the out wall of my way. Does a bit of damage. There is Jet with the ultimate. He's in it to get the tag. Takes down Daxx. Instantly was on the hunt for Beldevir. Is she, is he going to be able to spot him? Beldevir pushing in. Latino and Martinson with the second kill there. Ultimate. One enemy Out remaining. He gets traded down. It's down to a two v one for the attackers. One enemy down. remaining. It is near the door. Is she going to get the kill there? Pruthi with the satchel there. Is she going to go for the kill there? Ah. Oh my God! Did you see that play? She used the satchel Thanks. on the boxes. Gave her a speed boost towards. It's like a jet Last dash, round in the but half. more big brain. Generally is, big brain plays. Well, going into the last round of the half, this is definitely a round that the collectors want to put in their favor, reduce that gap as they go into the next round, since they will be defending it. Uh, try to uh, try to minimize that and see if they can pull off a better defending round. Uh, then the skeptic has definitely going to be a tough feat to achieve, given that they're already four rounds down. But we're about to find out right now what happens next. All right, all right. We are in to the twelfth round of the game. The both the teams looking to get that first pick. And the spike is outside A. Uh, we have Sova and Omen holding for the spike. Troublemaker okay. holding short to get that pick. And the attackers are again going for a 
split push there. But after the time, out, we know that the, uh, the defenders have the better team. Skeptics have higher ranking players uh, than the collectives. They have immortals in their teams. Uh, but the thing is that the, the only thing to outbeat their opponent in this game, it's not only about the raw aim, it's about the strategy. So again, both teams looking to get that first pick and we have yet to see a Viper's ultimate. Viper has not been using her ult through the game. We, it, it's a very, very powerful ultimate. We can see it going up on B uh, anytime soon. We have Omen pushing in short with the spike there. There goes the drone in front of Troublemaker. That too. Oh my god, through the smoke. Unable to spot him. Down goes the drone for the info. Of course, Patrick and Prithi trying to make their way inside. We have Teja Bobby hard holding uh, sight and Daxx behind. Again, Patrick and Mike go for a Death was ultimate. Patrick and Daxx dash it out. Run there. Well, uh, the skeptics are going to be extremely happy with how they performed on their uh, defensive pass right now. Uh, coming in with a with a with a six point lead here, going into their attacking round, uh, not gonna need to do too much here uh, if they want to finish out the uh, the game here. But uh, there's a long road ahead for the collectors here if they want to achieve this comeback in game one of the finals. Especially okay. with having the uh, momentum going through the rest of the finals, uh, game one is definitely uh, one of the most important ones. Uh, to have on the books for your team. We have a we have a three-one holding strategy uh, by the defenders here. They don't want to give this round here. away. Uh, Cipher sets up his equipment on to A here. We have Jet holding that corner with her frenzy. The attackers very silently are making their way towards A. They don't want to give the info away. Troublemaker and Black Infinity Tax X pushing in. Uh, Patrick Jen holding that very very again a very cheeky angle that nobody actually goes. There is Jet. <laughs> Here it's down to a 3v, a 3v2 for the attackers, of course. Uh, Sova with the force down into the default location. Sage almost takes a bit of damage there. Sage has taken a bit of damage. There's the uh, bolt for the info. Ruthi with the spam down. Right, right for the nice game. Game. Yes, the troublemaker. This is not looking Last good. Last player standing. Last player standing for the attackers. Again, not looking good for Sova there. The defender is playing for One the enemy remaining. Last man standing. Assassin with the finishing blow onto Troublemaker. And this is going to be around for the defenders. Assassin coming in clutch. It oh, is extremely over. close round coming in uh, for the collectives as they begin to close the gap on their journey back to making up the points lost in the first half of the of game one. Uh, definitely could have uh, could have gone the other way. Uh, almost got clutched up in the end by uh, by this by the schedule, but uh, they were resilient enough to hold it off and come come out with a point from that round. Interesting to see what happens in the round ahead now. We are seeing the attackers on an eco buy here, of course. They are full classics, and we have the Spectres and the better armor on the defense. This is going to be a free round for the defenders. The attackers have the spike with Dax X towards all the way towards A. Patrick Jen is holding the side. He has the better guns here. He's going to, oh my god, get the drop on Dax X. Patrick Jen does not take a single dent of damage. Full armor up. And Assassin with the finishing blow and belt away. Like we said, a predictable round uh, from the uh, attackers and defenders side. A free round from the uh, for the defenders, of course. Whoever wins the pistol rounds gets the better equipment. But the next round, they'll have to they'll have to buy uh, they'll have to continue with this equipment if they are alive because this equipment can't this is thrown away. They have to carry forward this equipment. And the attackers will have the better guns here, of course. Uh, we'll have to wait. As Jifruti with the finishing goes on. Black One enemy remaining. It's down to a four v one. Spike down. Yes. Yes. Holding outside, an assassin with the finishing blow on Troublemaker. Only actually, I have all Patrick Jen with the finishing blows on Troublemaker there. Well, it's the beginning of their comeback now. Two rounds in a row. There's definitely momentum in the favor of the collective here. But uh, the economy for the skeptics as well uh, kind of stretch right now. But, uh, they do. They they do look good. They they are looking good in the shields here. department. But we do see a Beldavir here who. Well, well, he has opted to buy a gun now. I was about to say he didn't opt to buy a gun or shields, but here. he has gone for it. 
On the other hand, you just see Vice here is opting to go with half shields. Oh my instead of god. The attackers are trying to go for a people set. There is the board down. What the damage? Patrick is dashing in there. Of course, this might be very lethal. For the attackers, you can test the flash. A lot of bullets being knocked down. It's a fire wall. Troublemaker with the OPK. Your head shot to see Vice. Not looking good for the defenders. He's hey, nice work. Spike for this down obby. mid. Again, the point of this round for the defenders is to get those guns down. All the attackers, they have the better equipment here. Uh, they need to get rid of the Spectre. So it's a Kamakaji play. We are seeing the attackers make their way towards A. We are seeing the defenders instantaneously roll. It's a very good uh, rotate uh, strategy from both the sides. Efficient rotating. Of course, no, uh, the defenders don't have the presence on A Spike side. Planted. And the attackers are able to get the plant down. They'll have to play for retake. We have Black Infinity holding generator. Dapsex going long. And Belda V for the cover. Black Infinity. Going on to heaven, Troublemaker with the finishing blow on to Assassin. Static then, guns down Troublemaker, H down to a 3v3, defenders playing for the There is the nade into side, nobody's gonna take some damage. Black and Finity holding on to side heaven. It does, it does. Black oh player my standing. god, well to be with the finishing blows on Kartik. The defenders fall like dominoes, Vplex gets the kill on Black Infinity. This is a very, very costly round for the attackers. The attackers can't pull by into the next round there. Again. Beldavir is also gonna die Last in the blast. Player standing. The defenders managed to get four of the guns now with their specters and inferior equipment for the attackers. A very, very costly round for the attackers there. It was it was definitely a very costly round for the attackers, losing four out of five of uh, of their guns there. Definitely not the way they would want that round to go out. But then again, they would take the win in that round. Uh instead of uh, losing that round on um, on no economy. So they, they, they managed to get a small win, even though uh, they did trade out the majority of their economy right there. We have people holding side again. There's the board for the info. Uh, nobody's there. Uh, the attackers are making their way towards B. That's the smoke to stop the rush. Uh, we have four attackers all the way inside B. They're going to be taking, making a play for mid there. We might see an A rotate here from the attackers. Daxx is holding outside high mid uh, to get that first kill. And of course, the defenders are not going to push. We saw a lot of uh, aggressive uh, gameplay uh, from the uh, we got a lot of aggressive gameplay from the collectives throughout the tournament here. Uh, Patrick Jen is holding that angle in the, in, in the thing. Troublemaker trying to get that kill in. Peaks, peaks out top of the boxes. Is he going to get the spot? Gets the drop onto Patrick. This is not looking good for the defense. That was an operator, a very, very costly guard. Goes down. Troublemaker is the on reflex. This game is not looking good uh, for the defenders in the bubble. The plant down is down to a 5v2 for the attackers. There's spikes down 10-5 no for the skeptics. Let's see how this match folds. The defenders have to play for retake. Cypher is pushing in heaven there. And we have uh, oh, uh, Sova holding for the way out. Short. Oh my god, the wall banks are real, man. I exactly know where the other team player is. Spamming that shot. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty default. A uh, default uh, spam Getting are pretty ahead. real, man. Like, uh, this is a pretty dope. When they when you get that kill, like a default, uh, spa you spam a place and then you get the scan and you just fucking spam your entire mag and get a kill. The <laughs> assassin with the exit frag on these above there. They're trying to get the kills on the team. Is he gonna get gunned down? Oh my god. Assassin, for the assassin. assassin gets another kill in, but Dax it for the instant raid. Expensive, expensive round there, again, for the attackers. Yeah, but, but I think they'll still be happy with that, uh, given that, that uh, well, they're just a few more points away from winning game one. Um, especially since uh, they are, they're, they're not doing too bad when it comes to uh, what they have with respect to what guns they have. Uh, especially since they just lost, they won the last round just by losing one of their players. So it was not too bad of a round uh, for the Skeptics right here going in to round Revealing 17. Area. That is very true, man. We are seeing the attackers are holding outside B with the spike again. Pick and play game style here. We have the cypher heavily set up on A. Uh, of course, he has the spike there. And uh, he has his utility and camera there. I'm sorry, I said spike. Uh, and we have the attackers trying to go for a pick and play style. They have the better guns here. The defenders are on an eco round. They can't afford to play match point round with shitty guns. Of course, they're going for a safety buy. We have easy buys with the full equipment on, of course. Other teammates, they are not. We Patrick Jan is pushing in with his ultimate. He, is he gonna get the drop onto the entire enemy team? 
We have three players holding mid. They don't have any idea. Patrick says, and one yard. Snipe two of them down. Oh my god. The flank. The flank. The chip of flank. Back in front of the team. The team back in front. And Luna pops her ultimate up. This is gonna be... Oh my god. Troublemaker with the snipe onto Assassin. We are seeing two ultimates come up on the attacker side. It's down to a 3v1. The attackers are making a play for B. We are seeing Beldevir going down for the plot there. Jet is on her ultimate. So is Black Infinity. 30 seconds remaining. Of course, the plant is going to hold up. The defenders have to play for retake. We have two people who are holding inside a uh, boat house. boxes. A very difficult, a very difficult retake. Oh, I heard almost the big range, folks. Blocking of vision completely into side. There is a the flat and the Reflex with the headshot onto Black Infinity. Two people inside the smoke there. Both of them are holding inside boat. Oh That's my god. Almost gets the drop down. Troublemaker is on the ultimate. And Troublemaker with the 3k. with his ultimate. Good round by the attacker there. Match point. Another excellent round there. Uh, from uh, from Skeptics as they go, they go a couple of rounds closer to finishing off... Uh, Game one rather swiftly uh, for their team. Uh, definitely seems to be that uh, the um, the defenders are struggling on their end this time. Uh, not as much as skeptics uh, were when they defended. Uh, they've already seemed to have lost and given up as many rounds as in their own uh, defending half as the skeptics did throughout uh, their 13 rounds. Oh, wow. This was like uh, this is uh, both there, uh, put it into the wall. At least there's almost drone going down. Oh man, I'm saying so was drone going down for the impact. So I with his ultimate. Is he gonna get killed on Black Infinity? Takes some damage. He spams it into mid. Unfortunately, it's not enough. Black Infinity has taken a bit of damage there, but we raise was gunned down. The attackers are going for a mid execute. Teja Bobby taking the spike all the way to B here. We are seeing rotation from the defender side. Uh, they have, I think, called it out. They have suspected uh, the attackers have rotated. Uh, Beldeby pushing into short. Is he gonna get the drop? Oh my god! Omen misses! Uh, Beldeby has taken side control there. Of course, uh, they're gonna be playing for the Beldeby Black all on site, they're gonna go down for the plant. It's five balls. Black reflects with the headshot onto Troublemaker, makes it into a full one. This, 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 any, 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 any uh, kill which they get is a kill for destroyed. them. Wall burst comes up, gets cut down instantly. Oh my god, Easy Vice trying to spam into the most default location, uh, almost getting the kill onto Dax X. Oh my god, people are falling like dominoes on the attacker side. Last man stays standing inside long. Patrick Jan going for the defuse. Assassin and Cypher. Oh. It's about the gun down. Assassin. Easy Vice is there for the trade. It's going to be around for oh. the defender. Was that important? The attackers have on, on their equipment. Attackers have definitely been uh, reduced uh, on their equipment quite a lot. But what they will be happy with is that they took down some of the defenders with them as well. Uh, exhausting quite a bit of uh, the in to round uh round 19 right now with uh the skeptics still just a couple of rounds away Need from taking away game one that is skeptics is one round away Let's from go. taking game one man they need to win one now there have been on match point the entire time they are trying to go for an a execute here the spike is a we have troublemaker who's holding short they are holding outside high mid and we have troublemaker at short they're trying to go for the mid control plays there of course we have the Two, 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 one strategy hold by the defenders. A pretty standard hold. Smoke. A bullet being spammed through the smoke. He just smoke. It takes a lot of damage. Almost. Patrick Jan with the finish. Spike down. Mid. Or the Bobby Black Infinity trying to go for the second kill here. But Patrick Jan dashes out and his goes fucks off all the way back into side. The attackers are a man down. It's going to be a hard push for them. Viper has her ultimate. But it's probably good only after post plant. You can't use that ultimate aggressively. I have yet to see a Viper's ult be used aggressively in this tournament. Post plant, it becomes a very powerful ultimate. Of course, reflex with the finishing, uh, with the blows on to Beldevi. Misses. Goes back and falls back. The attackers are making a play for B here. We are seeing Troublemaker and Black X. They're trying to go for a B execute here. This is gonna be a play for B. There is, uh, there is the what asset. Bye bye. Second asset. Fantastic. Uh, 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 Attackers fall like down. 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 B. Now. One enemy remaining. Get the two kills. Instantly backed up headshots 
easy wise i honestly a very uh, interesting gameplay there by troublemaker the the it, it's as if his gun instantly locked on to the head of both the players i mean he might just be good or i i might be a bit sus of his gameplay because the rest of his team are sitting on 14 13 12 and 8 kills and he's all the way up to 30 and uh, meanwhile on the other team we're seeing a fairly even gameplay 15 14 12 9 9 i don't mean to call uh hack there but, uh, do you think matthew uh, yeah. hey, something might be up Uh, honestly, I do not because there's a lot of drills that you can have uh, to improve. It's basically called spray transfer. Uh, it's something that we do in Apex as well. Get uh, out of my way! Spray transfer from one head to another. Uh, and like, okay. He's definitely been on his practice for that. And it's one enemy remaining. Of course, this is another round. I'm guessing for the defenders, the spike with them. They have spike control. Omen, last man standing. For the attackers, are we seeing a comeback here tonight? What do you think, Swan? I feel like uh, I feel like the skeptics are going through a bit of a match point choke, as you, uh, as it is. Uh, they're they're one point off of winning. Um, not not so much of the choke, but more laziness. So they're one point off of winning game one. Uh, so they might have taken their foot off the gas right now. Uh, they might be going a bit easy right now, but uh, they may realize that that might be a mistake if they let another round or. That'll infinitely put the pressure back on them. Feldevir is holding that very, very angle. Patrick then has him cornered. There's the shock start. He is holding that angle with the thing. He's going to get cut down. Oh my God! Patrick then with the 4K with the operator. Very, very OP round for the defenders. If the defenders are slowly making a comeback, man. Yeah, it definitely seems like uh, the collectors are making a comeback here, but. Uh, Looks like the skeptics have taken their foot off the gas pedal, as I said before. They've got to step it up here uh, if they want to win this game one. If they let the next round slip once again, uh, it's it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an interesting game because uh, it's, 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 it's momentum's definitely uh, with the collectives right now as we head into round 21. The attackers are pushing in. Problem maker. Oh my God, Patrick then misses a snipe. There is the one-way smoke by Omen. Again, good smoke there by Omen. You, so the thing is, the attackers can't peek that without exposing their legs. And any good uh, sniper will just take your body up, not even your head, man. I'm guessing that operator is a 300 Winchester Magnum uh, firing gun because it's. Let me try to make a pushing in Patrick then. Oh my God, he gets. You he will gets not kill, kill my brother. ट्रेड The defenders are making a comeback, man. It's the three-round difference now. Not looking good for the attackers. Yep, the the defenders definitely seem to be steamrolling through this round here. But uh, as you saw in the last game, Teja Bob is showing off some of his mechanical skill. Right, they're almost pulling off the one v three, but it was just a bit too much uh, for him to handle here. Uh, this is not an, uh, this is not another round um, that uh, the skeptics can can let go of. Let us hunt. Uh, This, this, uh, as as the rounds progress, the collectors believe more and more, and uh, I'm I'm kind of rooting for a comeback story at this point. I'm kind of I mean, rooting the, for them to pull off uh, yeah, a 13-12. I mean, you always in any match, movie, TV show, so man, you want the underdog to win, man. And we are seeing the skeptic team rolling their way through the defense, but of course, when oh my god, oh, the skeptic gave away some sound, they get called out into the assassin with the headshot. What the problem is? What's going on? Good shot, man. With this flash, a lot of bullets being slammed down. Uh, outside, of course, the attackers are going for a rotate here. They're going to try to get the mid here. Omen is holding mid. Is he going to be able to get a kill down? Is he going to damage? Reflex coming in. Is he going to be able to finish the blow onto Reflex? The attackers have to be able to get a spike down. Misses the shot onto Tesa Bobby. There. And the attackers are making the way for A here. It's gonna be a sight for A. Assassin is sitting there. Guns down, Belvedere. 
Kira were trying to come and fall with the flight. clutch there. Of course, we have. There is the bolt almost missing. And the drone falling into one enemy remaining. Yes, it's going on assassin. Assassin is going on fire. 30 oh seconds my god, left. what you said might actually be coming true. All four of them are on fire. They have been fragging throughout the entire tournament. Of course, on the attacker side, we have Troublemaker with the OB plays. We, uh, we have uh, Viper all the way down to B with the spike there. She might be able to get the plant down. Oh my god, we might see a Viper ult coming out. Let's wait and see. 10 seconds left. Viper's ult is supposed to be. The most powerful ultimate post plant. All the attacker or uh, defenders will be tacked down to one HP and will be uh, the uh, bait of the attacker. Oh, the uh, plot of bullets is tagged. There is a and there is a tactic getting right. Get gunned down by Easy Wise. A lot of visibility being blocked and the uh, uh, defenders regain their HP. So what the Viper's ultimate does is it basically a damage it's not damage. It the HP of the other team down to 1 HP and their vision becomes blurred. So basically 1 HP, visions become blurred and only Viper can see clearer in the vision. So she becomes this overpowered super soldier inside their uh, smoke. Well, it seems like the collectors have all of a sudden woken up. They might have been going through a case of cold hands Here. at the start of the at the start of the game, but as it's progressed, you've seen them come together as a team and just slowly pull them pull their way back. Now the narrowing down this lead to two points. Now all of the pressure is definitely on, on skeptics, skeptics here. Yeah. Of course, the skeptics have been on a losing streak. Their loss bonus is probably as good as the win bonus here. They've lost so many concurrent runs. We're seeing the attackers are holding outside short, uh, it was high mid there. The defenders with the standard 2 1 2 hold. And the jet is trying to get a pick down B. But unfortunately, <laughs> instantly, folks are spammed. Attackers are making a play for A there. We have Patrick holding that angle with the operator. He has been a formidable player with the operator, a force to be reckoned with. Of course, on the other team, we have Troublemaker. The jet mains are doing the fragging here tonight. What was that? A cross the map begins. And Omar oh Arena is pulling out of the Skeptics taking home game one. They definitely made it harder than it should have been for them. I don't think that's how they would have planned uh, finishing out uh, game one, especially from the lead they had going into their defending round. Uh, but the collectives uh, seem to get their stuff together uh, throughout um, and towards the end of the game there. But uh, I, I feel like where it all fell apart uh, for the collectives was it was a, a little too little too late uh for them uh that that attacking round that they had was definitely detrimental for them as they went into uh, their defending round with a major deficit uh but they did make uh, a valiant effort to come back into the game and not make the de the defeat uh as embarrassing as it would have been 
had they lost uh, through a yeah, clean sweep uh, on their own defending round. Almost about to, they were almost about to, I'm sorry to interrupt, but they were almost about to, uh, uh, what do you call it, lose to a clean sweep there. They won a couple of rounds on attack. They won the toss and they somehow chose to go on attack there. Uh, that that they will lose the map momentum on ascent. Ascent is a very different sided map there. Of course, they won the pistol. Uh, the skeptics won the pistol round and they kept on gaining momentum since then into the round. And this is going to be a game for the skeptics. The collective is trying to make a valiant comeback uh, into uh, into the game, but unfortunately, they were already on uh, a 12 uh, 12 point match point streak there they lost a lot of rounds there the skeptics were on a very very heavy pressure uh, to win that one point if they if this match went into overtime it would not look good for them so uh, this was match one the collectors versus the skeptics skeptics i apologize chat the collectives versus the skeptics valorant premier league day nine sponsored by ethereal events tg grad crime central prep by dead to compete you saw what was the first match of tonight we shall be back in two, in five, uh, with the next match. Daylight is laid to rest beneath all the rubble, and all that runs through my flesh is a spirit of trouble.
suffocate if I saw My bones start to disconnect My soul becomes hollow
Alright, we are back with the match two. We have the details coming in. Uh, do we have the toss details here? Unfortunately, we do not. Also, before we start with the second match, I have something to say to the chat. Why? Look, here, literally, like 30-40 people have made an event. It's so professionally cast. It's going to be live stream. It's going to be a lot of work. Like, literally, the 10 people who are playing in the match, they are not the only people involved. They are not the only people involved. A lot of work has been put into events to make it look professional. If you have to give a chat to the chat, then please, honestly, go ahead. But this is very, very disrespectful to the, all the organizers and all the people who are organizing the event. I mean, you are putting a chat in the profile, you are putting a chat in the chat. Who does it? Genuine. Or you are taking a part of the tournament. If you don't have a chat, then host yourself. If you don't have a chat, then host yourself. If you don't have a chat, then host yourself. You can give a chat in the chat, and you can give a Google account to the Google account. If you don't have a chat, तो प्लीज करते रहो ऑनेस्टली मॉडरेटर्स बैठे बैन करते रहेंगे क्या जा रहा है हमारा कुछ नहीं जा रहा लाइक like, ऑनेस्टली भाई या तो कुछ करो एस्टेब्लिश करो अपने आप को कुछ प्रूफ करो या फिर गाली लिखते रहो चार्ट में तुम्हारे ऊपर है वी इतने प्रोफेशनल प्लेयर्स आ रहे हैं तुम लोग इन एक बंदे के साथ भी वन वी वन में एक राउंड जीत गए ना मैं नाम बदल दूंगा अपना कास्टिंग छोड़ दूंगा मैं और बताओ जो तुम बैठ के चार्ट में बकवास कर रहे हो एनीवे वी आर ऑन टू द सेकंड मैच ऑफ टुनाइट वी हैव द टॉस डिटेल्स कमिंग इन इट्स The skeptics against the skeptics versus the collectives. The toss winner was the collectives, and they have chosen to go defense this time. A very interesting pick there uh, by collectives. What do you have to say, uh, Matthew? Well, I feel like uh, I feel like they might they might be trying to learn from a lesson from their uh, from their last endeavor, where uh, they opted to uh, the, the toss winners opted right to attack first, and it didn't really work out too well for them. Uh, like you said before the tournament, the majority of the maps on this turn uh, on this final are going to be uh, favorable towards defenders. So I feel like the collectors definitely want to put themselves at an advantage going into the round switch uh, before um, before uh, the skeptic can pull off uh, anything fancy here. Um, they definitely want to keep uh, the skeptics strangled on their economy. That's something that the skeptics did very well on their defensive round uh, in game one. They definitely strangle the uh, collective economy throughout uh, their defensive side. So right, it, we uh, are in the first round. Oh, the first round. Attackers are going for a B. X X X. There are a lot of cards fight being exchanged. Troublemaker is inside. The box is there. Well, to be the first pick. Troublemaker gets the opening. On to proceed with the round. Danger Bobby going down for the plant. It's not too spicy for for the attackers. Spike down. Defenders are playing for the attack. We are in the special round here. So the attackers have the better armor here. But uh, again, we're seeing the eco. Oh my God! Party then dashes into the line of fire of three enemies. This turn of five and three. Five and two. Defenders falling. Oh. Oh. This is not the way that the collectors would want to start a defensive round, uh, especially um, especially now that their uh, gonna, their their economy is going to be stretched out as we see um, them not opting to buy shields as we go into round two here. We see um, skeptics here coming in with uh, a couple of SMG buys and also going in on full shields on three of them where two of them have opted to go for half shields 
whereas um, the collectives here uh, been forced to go through another pistol and save round here without any shields whatsoever. Going to be a tough round for them to win. Uh, PRC. Uh, second, eight second, eight second, uh, uh, eight second. Uh, we shall, we shall be right back in two minutes. We shall be right back in two minutes. One sec. Uh, Tanmay, we shall be back in two minutes. Beneath all the rubble And all that runs through my flesh Is a spirit of trouble We had some technical difficulties here. Uh, Patek Jan pushing it, trying to get the drum. Get gun down by Deja Bobby at short. A lot of people are it from there. People falling on both sides. It's down to a 3v3. Spike, Spike down, down A. A. Last player standing. Uh, not a good round for the defense. Of course, the attackers had the better guns here. They were able to get the kills down. We are seeing the 
attackers make their way inside. Taxx is going for the plant there. Jet with the smokes trying to cover. Spike planted. It's zero one for the attackers. The attackers have the better equipment. And uh, Deflex takes a lot of damage from the shock dart there and gets gunned down by Black Infinity. Around for the attackers. Another swift round for the attackers here. Something that they've been doing throughout the tournament uh, really well has been restricting um, Collective's economy. And uh, whenever they win, whenever they, whenever they seem to win a round, they win a round with uh, the majority of their players up. They don't they don't like to lose a lot of players on a round when it's very rare for them to happen. So they either go all in or they either die out. So it's definitely interesting to see the way um, the skeptics play this one going yeah, into exactly. round three. We're seeing the defense with the full armor and full kit here. The defend, uh, defenders have the better equipment. Of uh, course, attackers with their equipment from the last round pushing in into short. They're trying to go for a V execute here. Uh, again, interesting pictures. Beldavir holding all the way outside fountains and a lot of players making their way down into bathroom. There's the device with the spam. There's the orb. Attackers are going for the dead dash. into the smoke there. Gets cut down by the right. Oh my god, why is this the two cases? Yeah, Bobby, for the trade, it's down to a 4v3. Not looking good for the attackers. Two top trackers down. You will uh, not oh kill my, my god, ally. Bobby makes it into a 3v3. Like I said, Sage Ultimate, one of the most powerful ultimates. Uh, Patrick is running from Bell to be tactic for the instant trade. One enemy remaining. remaining. Last man raised, standing for the uh, uh, defenders. It's down to a 2v1. Spikes going down. Teja Bobby. Ruthi gives some sound. Teja Bobby going for the kill there. Does not want to go for the plant there. He wants that kill. He has taken a bit of damage there. Both the team players are down a bit of HP. Uh, Teja Bobby is down to 80. Silva is down to 50. Pruthi at 100. Spike planted. Super to clutch this. That's it. Holding all the way down. Of course, uh, Teja Bobby. Pruthi has spotted him. She has the... Or been around and he's like, he's just pulled on. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, uh, this, this is what I'm talking about. Pruthi and his movements instantly dashed into side. That speed, that's jet level speed right there. But he gets. Yeah, but Achilles seems to be getting carried away with his uh, movement quite a lot. He, he, if, he, if he simplified that, he may have been able to pull off the 1v2 clutch. But then again, uh, it's definitely um, a game that the collective should have won. Uh, around, sorry, the, the collective should have won. From the position that they were in, they got those initial entry frags. They got the initial man advantage, but uh, once again, Teja Bobby there coming in with uh, coming in handy with his ult, reviving one of his players and making that comeback towards the end of the round. Of course, we there's the bolt down mid. See the slow up there. There cross map bolt into mid for the info. Of course, Easy by trying to go for the kills. There, Black Infinity, Teja Bobby pushing in. They're trying to go for a B execute. Beldavir and Troublemaker all the way down. Uh, long and uh, short, it's gonna be a B execute from the attackers. That text is all the way down uh, to a uh, short there. Patrick then holding that corner with the short gun. Uh, very, very cheap. The attack text gets to the corner. And that's it. On white text. <laughs> Tactics and is camping the corner and he's gonna get called out. Guns down Tactics. It's down to a Black Infinity with the kill on Assassin. Down to a 4v2 for the attackers. Of course, the defenders were on an eco round. Patrick picks up the Phantom and this might be a, uh, this might be a clutchable round. They have the equipment here. Reflex is on a classic, but uh, I'm pretty sure he can pick up a better gun on the way. Yes, he picks up the Judge, and Black Infinity is holding that angle. And standing. he gets gunned down instantaneously. Black Infinity with the 3K on his ultimate. A very, very in, uh, impressive gameplay right here. Reflex pushing in with the Judge. Black Infinity is still on his ultimate. Contest and gets the shot with the 4K, with the Vandal, the headshot, finishing blow, and around for the attackers. Another game and another slow start for the collectors. Uh, it looks like we're seeing a repeat of game one here. They're really slow to get out of the box here, uh, especially. Uh, but as you can see, the collectors are capable of putting uh, together a streak of uh, round wins. But uh, if, if they're if they're if they're going to stand a chance of winning this final, they definitely have to pull it together uh, a bit earlier than how they're doing right now. Because uh, as it is, they, they seem to be giving. Um, the skeptics uh, a bit too much Ooh, of an advantage. The but... the inside the smoke, there's the one way smoke test. They come Pratic and completely blocked it off. They're trying to be with the spam in the smoke. Again, a very, very interesting play there. There's Sova's drone for the info. A battle of the short going on. We are seeing Sova all the way down to mid. Trying to go to B there. Pratic Gen with the Bucky. A Bucky with the very strong right click there. If you get the head, the person's down out of the match. Uh, we are seeing a contest for A. It's going to be an A. The defenders have called it out. Troublemaker dashes in. Have to 
spotted. Get run down by reflex. And Patigen with the kill on Belt. He's down, down to a 5v3. This Let might be the round the defenders needed. This is another momentum no defining left. round for the defenders. They don't have the economy to support a full buy. They pick up the guns dropped by the attackers. The attackers have the economy here. But honestly, uh, this is this is one of the rounds the defenders desperately needed. The spikes with Teja Bobby. Black Infinity making their way down short. Patrick Jen holding that tight angle. Going for the feet there. And gets the kill on Black Infinity. Teja Bobby for the instant headshot trade. Again, trades are a very good thing for the uh, attackers here. Uh, for the defenders here because they have the man advantage. This is down to a 42. 30 seconds left. For the defenders, the first dash check. There is the need down raise. That's the easy in his zone. He'll take a lot of damage. Can't for the grenade. Misses him by a little bit. Teja Bobby taking the spike back to A. Is he gonna get called out? No one makes his way back to B. Teja Bobby is wow. player the standing down into A with the spike. Ten seconds there. left. And he has been called out. Oman is taking his way back. He flex trying to go for the challenge. Teja Bobby gets a blast out. Oman makes his flash. Runs down Teja Bobby. And this is gonna be around for the defenders. The defenders are making a comeback here. There we go. That is definitely the round that uh, our defenders needed here. Uh, to pro possibly start their comeback earlier than they did in the last game. Uh, now, if they can capitalize on their momentum here and go ahead and win the next round, since they have uh, forced um, forced the economy uh, to get strangled a bit for um, skeptics here, as uh, no more they go into the next round, they might be going. They might be opting for a full buy yet again. So uh, it oh, might be risky nice here spot. for uh, the skeptics to take an L in this round. If they, if they lose this round. Uh, it could be detrimental towards them, uh, towards further rounds. Yes, the skeptics have three of their ultimates up. A lot of gunfire spammed down into short. Nobody there to take the lead there. But uh, the attackers are going for a B execute. Have they been called out yet? Uh, of course, they are holding that strong outside mid. Uh, short and long. The cypher scam outside. Omen with his flash. Just the nade down inside. Nobody is there to take the damage. Misses by a little bit. Oman with this move. Just the orb. There's the board. First move. Second move. Take the way in. Get that. Oh my god. Attackers are coming at us. Very easy. Opponent killed. Three by one side. Gun down. Kuti. Kuti misses his ultimate. It's down to a 5v3. Cypher still has his camp set up on side. A very good position for a camp. Teja Bobby sets up the wall, will get destroyed instantaneously. Teja Bobby going down for the plant there. Beldevir holding short, uh, holding uh, elbow there. Teja Bobby guns down, Patrick Janet's down to a 3v3. Cypher has his ultimate, Sova has his ultimate. Are they gonna use it? Uh, the attackers are making their way towards site there. They're holding site very aggressively there, not paying for the angle fix there. Teja Bobby holding spawn. Uh, the defenders trying to take elbow control. There's the flash into site. And they're pushing in. Last and player standing. Assassin with the 2k headshot. Oh my god, I'm going to defuse that. He divides and for the flash. And Reflex gets the finishing blow on Meldevir. And this is going to be around for the defenders. Three of their ultimates have been charged up. Oh my god, Assassin. He just, he just, he literally just won that round for his team with that two pick. That round was headed straight in Skeptic's hands until Assassin stepped in and said, "No, hold up, wait a minute. This is my round. I'm not giving you this win that easily. No, 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 no. This is this is mine, and he's he's here to stay. So uh, as we go into the next round, um, collectives here are definitely making a comeback, and uh, they're not take it lying down. No, no, no. They're definitely putting up a fight. All the Skeptic's kill is definitely not going to get steamrolled here." As that they set up there. a comeback here, going into round seven. Of course, we have the attackers are holding out in short. Their economy has been chipped a bit by bit there. Of course, we are seeing their economy fall down to the two Ks, and of course, the defenders have the better economy here. They have the momentum, and let's see how Get out of my the seventh way. round unfolds. Jet is pulling out an ultimate. There's the bolt down mid for the info. Nobody there to receive the scan. And the attackers are Short there, there is the spam by Sova with his ultimate. And the Android by Sova. Oh my god. Is he gonna get Black Infinity? Misses by a little bit. Gets Black by Oven. Troublemaker with the headshot on device. Makes it into a 5v4. The attackers have taken a lot of damage. Assassin with the finishing blow with the shot card on Black Infinity. It's a 4v4. Teja Bobby going down for the plant there. Teja Bobby is farming those ultimate points, getting those skills, getting the plants down. Very open from Patrick Chen with the snipe. Well defeat. Four v three for the defenders. All the attackers have to support. Lamps are attacking. Tactics with 
to 2k they are not looking good for the defenders down to a 2v2 fighting for the kill guns down that attack and that attack is not good for the defenders and he picks up the phantom he had the operator and he clashes the round for the defenders making this into a 3-4 oh my god like we said at the start of the uh, the start of the tournament here, the collectors definitely has the potential for any one of their players popping off. Uh, in the last game, we saw it was Assassin clutching up for his team. This game, we see Patrick Jane here uh, coming up with the end game clutch um, for the collectors here. Now bringing it back to a four three, definitely uh, trying to enforce that game three here. Uh, they definitely do not want to let this momentum slip now that they're capitalizing on it very well. Troublemaker was popping off uh, in the last game there. He's sitting almost at the bottom of the scoreboard with four kills. And Beldevi still has to get the first kill in. He's typed zero kills. That takes his chat. But uh, the attackers are trying to make a play. Uh, get the first pick in. Oh my god, the cross map bolt from Sova all the way from B into mid. Did you see that? See, that is some Reddit level shit there, of course. Uh, I mean, you remember the smokes from CSGO where people used to line up and get to kill. Troublemaker with the headshot onto Prithi. Still inside. Troublemaker uh, looking in the side there. Of course, Assassin trying to contest this uh, contest the wall. Gonna be very clear playing. Wall starts. Troublemaker is holding on top of box. The sure, attackers have taken a off the side. They want to gain momentum. Of course, Patrick Jan is trying to get elbow control here. Uh, assassin behind, stuck behind the wall. Troublemaker is holding on top of the boxes. A very cheeky angle to hold by a jet plane. With the counter jet plane. The wall comes down. Troublemaker is still holding that angle directly. Easy by guns down, Troublemaker. Very important angle. A woman pulling out his ultimate. Teleports into the spawn. For the backstab. Does Easy by snow. Is he going to get the drop on him? And he's going to get the jump. And he's going to get around. For the attackers. Excellent round. They're coming in for the skeptics here, especially since it's a defense-heavy round. Uh, they're doing extremely well here to not go into a deficit uh, as we head towards uh, the initial uh, side switch here, um, which is doing much better than um, each defensive team did um, on the other side, but. Uh, if they go into their defending round here with a lead in their hands, uh, we could be seeing this tournament being closed out in round two itself. Oh my god, Beltavir bunny house out of the line of sight for the operator there. Uh, the operator, a one shot killing machine there, holding that angle directly into short. Anybody gonna go for the contest? Daxx trying to go for the peak. Black Infinity coming in, will pull out his flash. Again, there is the bolt for the reveal directly into sight. Patrick Jen will get spotted there and get spammed. Of course, he's supposed to leave out of position. Uh, there's the flash. There's a smoke down into short, pushing, slowing down the rush. Of course, the spike with Sage. Uh, Seja Bobby holding outside short. The attackers are trying to make a play for A here. We have three defenders set up on B. And we have two attacks, two defenders on A. They have not called it out. They are not rotating. They're holding strong on B because of the B executes happening by the attackers. Of course, uh, Patrick Jan gets the balance. Problem maker gets the shot on the effect. Patrick Jan is fast. It's a battle for the operator. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, giving Patrick Jan cover there. Of course, stays going for the default front there. Patrick Jan behind the side. Is he going to get the kills? The defenders have rotated. They're trying to play for the retake. It's down to a 5v3. Two attackers are brought to attack. Problem maker with the TK. With the operator coming back into form there. Last player not standing. Not the defenders. The defenders. Last man jet standing with his ultimate there and almost gets a gun down by the classic troublemaker with the fourth yeah. You seem you seem to have triggered uh, you seem to have triggered troublemaker here, Roy. You said he was not having a good round and I think he set out to prove you wrong for this entire game and for the rest of it. Uh definitely you definitely might have brought out the best in him. I think uh, I think you'll do good as uh, as skeptics game coach here as long as you um, Call our troublemaker the next time. Yeah. Definitely making a comeback. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. In this man. round, I, I have a bias, man. I Let's really go. want uh, uh, my fellow caster Patrick Jan to win this collective because the underdog team here. They are on a, their eco round. Patrick Jan pulling out his ultimate, going for the frag there. We have Easy Vice holding B troublemaker, and they're gonna make a play for. Uh, oh my God, the bolt scans two of them. 
and gets a third scan. Does not get destroyed there. We are seeing the attackers are holding all the way outside uh, A there again. Operator picks there, but Troublemaker into Fountain uh, to get that first pick in. Patrick Jen holding that angle with his ultimate, a very powerful ultimate, Jet Ultimate. One of the ultimates you can get a 1v5 from Troublemaker. Snipes Assassin gets to the opening the attackers needed. Again, the defenders are on an eco round. This should be a free round for the attackers. Uh, if if only they don't lose the gun to Patrick Jen misses his shots with the foot. Guns down. Black Infinity coming in for the 2k. His uh, tactics going down for the plant. There's the wall. Might is up away into the default plant location. And the attackers have side. It's a YP2. The defenders have to play for retake here. They are on an eco. They, are, they just want to get the guns down. Standing. And Beltavir with the headshot on to proceed. Again, easy by trying to get a kill in. Long. Very difficult kill. And it's a flawless round from the attacking side. Of course, the defenders were on an eco round. They didn't have the money to go for a full buy here, but uh, they are losing momentum a bit by bit here. Yet another round uh, flawlessly done by uh, Skeptics here. Something that they've done consistently in both the rounds is definitely dry up the economy of their enemies. Something they're very good at doing, uh, especially winning rounds uh, without losing any of their members here. Uh, it's an extremely good team coordination going on throughout their team here. Uh, definitely looking like they're going to run away with this game unless um, the collectives can come up with yet another comeback here. Of course, we have Patrick Chen holding that angle with the judge. Troublemaker getting the opening kill into the round. On to Prithi. This not is looking begins. good. That community puts out the tournament. Even this weekend is going to come out. Oh my god. Attackers you will are not falling down. Kill my ultimate instantly makes it into a 4v3. Trouble, Teja Bobby does not hesitate to use his ultimate because he knows he has the fragging capability to get it again. To get those ultimates in the round for the advantage for the skeptics. It's down to a 4v3. The spikes making its way down to B. The defenders have not called it yet. Are they gonna call it out to their team here, guys? Well, let's wait and see. They have called it out. They heard the firing down. At B, they are rotating towards site there. It's down to a 4v3. The, uh, the uh, attackers easily take over the site there. They get stopped by the force there. A stock force down into default position. Deja Bobby takes a bit of damage. Spike planted. Gets the spike down. It's down to a 4v3 uh, for the attackers. Spikes down. Defenders take for retake. Stage A is uh, Cypher is holding outside for an assassin holding the elbow angle. Black is getting onto site. Tax X with the blows on the reflex. Down to a 4v. The easy vice makes it into a 3v2. He has his ultimate up, does not have a body to use it on. Honestly, my god, last man so was standing for the defenders. If you're gonna go for those plays there, assassin holding that elbow angle, being watched over by two attackers. Black Infinity is on site there. He is in the blast area. He has to go for the tank and he goes and he gets the kill onto assassin. 3 8 for the skeptics. Not looking good for the collective. Last round before the switch. Yep, the skeptics have definitely uh, set their foot on the pedal here and uh, definitely going through full speed through Neither this uh, through this attacker's round uh, with an 8-3 lead right now as uh, as they're moving in to uh, try to seal out the next couple of rounds uh, as they go into the defensive round Neither with uh, minimal Thanks. work to do as compared to the uh, to the collectives here. The collectives are definitely going to have to put in a lot of work in order to push this final into a game three, uh, if they're going to, um, we go in and we see, uh, we see Troublemaker here trying to pick up a frag. Oh my god, of course, Troublemaker with his frags here. The attackers are going for a B execute here. Uh, the defenders are screwed for money here because they don't have the economy to support another full buy. It's a force buy from them. Reflex going for the glass cannon with the Phantom Enemy. watching over B. There's the drone down into sight. Of course, the defenders have a gridlock set up in there. The smoke is stopped. There are Spussy holding Nowhere under side. There is the one ultimate. Any it account. is the most deep for location. Down, gets beat. the tag down on the Spussy and gets the finishing low on Reflex. It's down to a 4v3 for the defenders. Spussy pulls out his ultimate this time. Again, gets down to Unfortunate. Cannot get those ultimates down, man. Honestly, that game them. Back with the finishing low. Point to Asate. It's down to a 2v2. Black Infinity going down for the plant. Patrick Jen is holding outside point. Spammed it into default location. Nobody dares to receive the bullets there. Again, Patrick Jen trying Lucky to get the kills here. There's the smoke down. Again, Last, has player standing. Last man standing. Cypher for the defenders. He has to play for the retake there. They'll have to eco the round. They'll have lost a very big uh, lead into the game. Of course, uh, we have 
Cypher pushing in into side there. Black Infinity holding that angle. Is he gonna get spotted? Is he gets a bit of sound. Yes, he'll kill on Black Infinity. Attack sex with the 4 Infinity Pro. Instant trade on Easy Vice. The trade Switching coming sides. in there from Dax, virtually baiting out his teammate here. Um, it's not looking pretty right now uh, for uh, for the for the collectives uh, as we head into uh, the round switch right now with uh, the collectives on the defensive side here. It's definitely uh, it's definitely going to be uh, much harder uh, for the collectives right now unless uh, they start off strong in this round. They definitely need to win uh, this first uh, pistol round here. If they're gonna take uh, take a hold of uh, the rest of their attacking round, that is true. The attackers are going for a spread push here. Again, we have uh, three defenders holding uh, A and three two defenders holding B. Again, both the teams are looking to get their first pick in three armors and battle guns on both sides with a couple of utilities. We're into the pistol round. Terrace stage with her wall or trying to slow down the rush. Honestly, a good wall, man. It's a very irritating wall to push there. The attackers are making their way towards B. There is Omen with his cross map smoke towards the spawn, blocking off complete vision into side. There is the slow orb. Uh, one person, Daxx, holding elbow. Asia Bobby is holding side. Patrick Jen. There's the flash. Pa he gets spotted. He's gonna get spotted. Patrick Jen, right click, uh, Daxx, and the attackers are aggressively taking side. Asia Bobby is down, B. takes a lot of damage. He's stuck between all of them. Is he gonna get gets the 2k there? Asia Bobby is still on side. Holding strong will get gunned down by assassins. Melody pushing into side. There's the board for the info. It's down to a 3v2 One for the attack. Remaining. For the defenders. The defenders are doing very well. Uh. And Black Beldevine and Black Infinity coming in for the clutch. And this is going to be a round for the defenders. This is not the way the collectives would have wanted their round one to go. Uh, as we now see uh, the skeptics here edging closer and closer to being crowned the champions of the first ever Valorant Premier League in India. That is very true, man. Uh, uh, of course, we have the uh, uh, the attackers making a play for A this time. Cypher and uh, Sova are pushing for B. The collectives are going for a very spread push there. We are seeing a force by from Puthi and Reflex with his armor. But uh, uh, let's see how this round falls. Spikes drops here. outside A. The attackers are trying to go for an A push there. Of course, the defenders have the better equipment here. One minute, 26 seconds remaining into the round. A troublemaker a holding a very interesting angle. Of course, with the dash up draft, able to get into those camping positions, if I must say. Well, to be with his flash into blast, <sighs> into bath. Does not know, gets instantly gunned down by troublemaker. Holding boxes. The attackers have taken a lot of damage. And Black gets gunned down by Black Infinity with the 3k max down. And a. Black Infinity Flawless. with the 4k. Oh my god. Black Infinity here turning on the style, showing on his showing showing off his mechanical competence right here. Uh, as uh, they 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 they're putting through putting collectives here through a lot of pain. Uh, that they were they were on a force buy round there in the last round, the collectives, and uh, it's, they can't afford any more of those. Uh, quite literally and figuratively as well, they cannot afford to lose another round. They're two rounds away from losing the entire final here. So here we go. Uh, this is a kind of a make or break round as uh, uh, the collection. <laughs> Patrick Jane, though, picks up the first frag. Takes the damage from his own raise there. They have taken side. The defenders don't have presence on A. They're going for an A execute. Troublemaker is holding all the way down inside Bath there. Has he been called out yet? Troublemaker is holding inside Bath. We're seeing the defenders trying to play for retake here. Beldavir pushing uh, the default uh, spawn location. The, the, I have no idea what you call that site. Ezra Bobby is holding outside Heaven. Troublemaker making his way into Bath. They have gotten the plant down. This is going to be pretty easy for the defenders. Ezra Bobby guns down Patrick Jen. The attackers have the better equipment. <laughs> And Tesla Bobby with the 2k. Last man who was standing. A very expensive oh. round for the attackers. Of course, they lost three guns this time on their attacking ground. They'll be getting the winning bonus here. And we are going to expect a full buy from both the sides in this round. Well, uh, that's uh, that's yeah. definitely uh, a round that um, that the collectives would have wanted here, as uh, as they're trying to hold out this round, it's this game as much as they can. Uh, definitely going to push the. It's going to do a lot of good for their economy as well. 
uh, given that um, now they're going to be going in uh, with almost uh, almost a full buy here, except uh, we see Patrick Jane and Prithvi here moving in on half shields. Besides that, uh, it seems set to, to take on this round, hoping that they win it, they win it again. I mean, this is something you... Uh, I wanted to be in CSGO where you could have dropped armor to your teammates, man. I mean, Assassin and Reflex have the thousand credits here, but you can't drop armor in this game. It's a bit sad. But it's okay because armor technically adds on to your HP. It makes it 150 uh, rather than uh, adding to like a damage resistance buff to your uh, stats. But okay, I think the attackers make a play. Patty Jen dashing in. Wants to get the kill. Gets flashed and still gets the kill on Beldevere with the flash kill there. Of course, we have Sage pushing in. Sage Bobby playing out corners. Patrick Jen holding that angle. Who's going to get the drop? Sage Bobby takes Patrick Jen. Spikes down. Sage Bobby is just five. With the 3k, oh my Last god, the player standing. standing for the attackers. The attackers have the plant down. And he's, he's going on a rampage. Troublemaker going out for the defuse there. Uh, and he's going to get the defuse down. And he gets spotted. And he gets spotted. And gets burned down. Bye, Black Community. Asia Bobby here coming in with a huge Match three point. kill trade here before he went down. Uh, definitely, um, definitely pulling it off. Now they put it, puts it on, puts, puts uh, the skeptic, sorry, on to match point. Here we go. Is this going to be the round that wins uh, the skeptics uh, all the money and the title of the Valorant Premier League champions? Let's find out as we head in to what could be the last round of the Valorant Premier League. Of course, we are. Get out of my way! And we are seeing uh, Troublemaker pull out his ultimate. Troublemaker has an operator and he just uses ultimate there. A very lethal uh, play there. Of course, the attackers are going for the. <laughs> Troublemaker gets the drop on Patrick. And the <laughs> ultimate. Honey, Patrick can pull out, pull out his ultimate. Bye bye, of course. Patrick can ultimate. Guys, and the is the. So he's coming in with the safe. Oh. He's got ultimate there. Gets a few pulls down onto Dax. Chasing him down, and he no takes more. a bit of damage and attacks him. Double maker picks up the finish. So oh, I know exactly where you are. Time for ultimate coming up. They'll get the information. Will it be enough to press the round there for the attackers? Last, attack player is standing. Standing. Last man so was standing Spike down for a. the attackers. It's not looking good there. The collectors need to win this game. Otherwise, this is going to be it for them for tonight. For Valorant Premier League. Day 9, the finals. Of this tournament, guys. This is not looking good for the collective last man. So, was uh, standing for the collective 35 seconds remaining into this round. Is it gonna be the last match? They're gonna play her tonight. 30 seconds left. More kill left for the skeptics. One more frag to take the money. Here we go. Feeling area. With the assassin right now, trying to hold off an entire army on his own here. This game in and he gets taken out. Defenders and win. Skeptics are your first Valorant Premier League champion. Taking home the title for the first oh time. My God. What a game, man. What a game. Alright, guys. Uh, that was Valorant Premier League Day 9, the finals. Both the matches won by the collectives here. This is again <laughs> not a good day for uh, the collectives. They were, they have beaten the skeptics before, but the skeptics were not on their best game. I'm guessing that day the skeptics uh, skyrocketed through both the games, won both the games, and congratulations to the skeptics, the winner of this tournament, Valorant Premier League, hosted by uh, Zenivia in association with Bennett University, sponsored by Ethereal Events. Digigrad, Climb Central, Prep Bite, and Dare to Compete. You have been a wonderful audience. This was the tournament, the Valorant tournament organized in midst of a lockdown online. All the players sitting at their homes. A cheers, uh, uh, cheers for the organizers for pulling this off, man. And to all the players who participated, especially to the teams who made it to the finals. Unfortunately, at tier six and Baba Seer weren't able to make it. Baba Seer, congratulations, you have come third. Uh, on the first place, we have the Skeptics, and on the second place, we have the Collectives. Following third will be Baba Seer. This was Valorant Premier League, Day 9, the finals. And you have been a wonderful audience. I have been a wonderful audience. I have with me my friend Matthew. 
Adi, would you like to say a word to the chat? Yeah, I would love to. First of all, it's been an extremely entertaining day. Uh, no, you're really used to watching Valorant too much, but I feel like I should after what I've seen right now. Um, the skeptics are definitely putting on a show on how to like perfectly take uh, take advantage of situations here, and it came away flawlessly with that final win. Um, and also, a uh, special shout out to my co-caster Roy here for walking me Thanks, through buddy. Valorant, just walking me through everything else so that this cast would have been smooth. And also a special shout out to the entire backroom staff and everyone involved in making the Valorant Premier League possible, including all the sponsors and including everyone who contributed to uh, setting up the entire stream. Massive shout out to all of you guys. This wouldn't have been possible without you. Oh, very, very, and also uh, to everyone in chat as well. Massive shout out to all of you for showing up. Uh, and supporting uh, the Valorant Premier League as well. I mean, again, again, I would like to say a lot of effort went into organizing this good work on everyone's part. Of course, we had a few mishappenings here and there by some teams. Some teams tried to troll. Again, part of every tournament, I would say, but then sportsmanship has its way and gold always finds its way in the end. You have been a wonderful audience. This will be the last day. I am Roy and this is my friend Matthew. We shall be signing off for the tournament, Valorant Premier League. We shall see you next time.